Welcome to the Luminaries edition of the Balance Bowley Podcast. This is a dedication to outstanding women who inspire, influence, and ignite a better tomorrow with the courageous work that they implement today. I'm your host, Nikita Rin Thickpen, known as the number one balance and relationship advisor in the world, and I am here to set you free from all the expectations that are limiting you, that made you think that you couldn't do with this next amazing guest has done. Listen, wait till we roll into it. I have to bring back to you this phenomenal woman that I had the privilege of sitting down with virtually a little bit over a year and a half ago, right before the unsolicited disruptive gift that we've all recognized as COVID-19, the global pandemic kind of set forth. And when I talked to this woman, she was super infectious and beautiful and energetic and knowledgeable all in one. Miss Terry Ijoma. I have to say she is phenomenal, highly qualified from going to MIT to being a principal to now literally trading and travel, traveling while teaching, what is it now, over a thousand people to make a thousand dollars a day. Terry, welcome to the Balanced Bully Podcast. How are you today? Thank you. I'm doing great. Can you believe we now have over 6,000 students in the trade and travel program? And yes, over a thousand of them have made it into the thousand dollars in a day club, trading stocks and earning income. It's crazy. It is crazy and awesome and life changing for so many of these families. And you know, that was one of the reasons that I was telling you I had to, well, I wanted to have you back period, just because we had so much good energy and we vibe so well. But when I realized how deep your work was going and how much you were impacting, I saw those testimonials, child, they blowing up all <laughs> over. And I can't even keep up with the number of awards for you for, you know, the platforms that you're on and the courses that you're developing and the way that you're serving these communities of people that would have not necessarily had access to these lifestyles that you've helped them to create by giving them the tool to fish with. So I would yes. love for you to share a little bit more about what you're doing in the world. Yeah. You know, so when I think of stocks and trading, I think what's really revolutionary is the way that I think of being able to just pay small bills and bite size goals. So when I thought about like starting trade and travel, I thought like, okay, if I want to go to Greece and it costs $3,500, how do I break that down? Okay, I really just need to make um, $100 30 times. Mm -hmm. You know, like, okay, okay, I can, then you start thinking, oh, that's, that's doable. Or, you know, 35 times. Mm -hmm. Then it's like, okay, well, how long will that take me? Okay, I can probably do that in a couple months if I'm trading. Yeah. I just got to make $100 a day and I can go on this beautiful trip and have my flowy dress and my grease pictures on Instagram. You know, like, yes. <laughs> like that's, that's how I think of it. Like, how do you use stocks to actually really live your lifestyle? And that's kind of the, the revolutionary way that we've brought to trading, using it for income. Mm. Um. And when you say like what I've been up to, like I've now been able to to pay off all my student loan debt with trading. I bought a house, I actually paid for a house in cash because I couldn't get the mortgage to work out how I wanted it to. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just buy this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I have retired my mom. So I don't wow. know if you knew that, but yeah, last wow. last year, actually this year, 20, 2021, mm -hmm. I retired my mom and um now she's she's put in her two week notice and she's going to come and stay out here. I, I move countries. So she's yes. moving to the new country with me. Like there's just been so much, but all because I've been able to one trade myself and then teach others how to trade. No, I love that. Each one, teach one and reach one. And you're doing all of it um, times 6,000. Of yes. students at this point <laughs> <laughs> yes like we we are really changing the world like like real talk though like I just want to just shout out my students because they are doing so many cool things like one of them she she's been trading like me so she quit her job and she moved to Mexico and she trades to afford the rent but then there's others like one made 80,000 in her account and she gave out scholarships another mm -hmm. one he like I actually even used money to help rebuild the churches in Dallas after the storm like yeah. there's so many good things coming from the money that we're making. Like it's yeah. just, it's been really, really cool. Oh my God. I can't imagine what that feels like to see 
in such a quick, because a lot of these turnarounds are quick turnarounds. You know, I work with power couples and we're doing relationship work and sexy talk and, you know, all of that. So these things aren't necessarily quick <laughs> turnarounds, right? With like the work that we're doing, the transformations yeah. are deep, but can take a little bit longer. And you're seeing some people, and I know it's across a continuum based on the time, the energy, the consistency, and the effort that they're putting into it. But you are seeing some really quick transformations as well, right? Oh, yeah. So uh, the trade and travel program itself is eight weeks. So that's two months. And I tell people, give yourself two months to learn the curriculum. And then after that, you can start practicing and it can take up to a year to get consistent. I don't want anybody to think this is like a get rich quick type of thing. It's not. But like I have students within like three months, they're like, oh, I already paid back the cost of the class. Or the, you know, like the co- the class was this much. I paid that back plus some. So another one sent me a message, Terry. I just want you to know that I made $33,000 today. I'm like, wait, what? Like <laughs> another one. Yeah, I made 200000 a day. Uh, thank you, Terry. I'm like, this is crazy. Like just crazy. And, and it is happening a lot faster. Like I've been trading 11 years yeah. and it took me at least six to try to figure it out by myself. Mm-hmm. But these students, I guess, cause I did all the like mistakes. They're coming out here three months, six months doing all this crazy stuff. So this is, it's really been cool to watch. Oh yeah. So you, you walking in my lane now. Cause you said I've been doing this for 11 years and more than half of that time took me to make some avoidable and unavoidable mistakes to figure out the figure outables as Marie Folio would say, right. To really get familiar with the hidden patterns and the things that weren't just blatantly in your face and you save people time and help them make money, which are two really big ways of supporting our country, our world, our ability to create impact and transformation. And this is the reason that everything you said, you know, forgetting, cause you guys don't know, like she comes from MIT, you know, top of her class, like all the other phenomenal things. Like she comes from the education world, like being a principal and all the, the other layers. And I think theology school too, right? Like, yeah. Uh-huh. Like all Graduated the, the, in seminary. Yeah. The foundational <laughs> roots of so many things. And then you'll have people that come and I'm just going to take a gander and say, I know for a fact, without knowing for a fact that this has happened to you too, where they say, hey, Terry, do you have like 15 minutes I can pick your brain? One of the terms that bothers my soul. Yes, (laughs) yes. Which is a lack of acknowledgement of, to your point, 11 plus years, six years of pain and tears and crying and figuring it out and having some joys that you couldn't figure out how to repeat and all the things and all the sacrifices. And if someone says, can I pick your brain for 15 minutes? How are you, the luminary of the month, handling those conversations when people are just like, let me hit you up because I feel like you owe me just because I'm a follower on your IG page. (laughs) (laughs) You know what's crazy? Like, I just stopped answering my phone. Like... (laughs) Like today, someone sent me a text message. This is so-and-so from so-and-so. And And like, I I just haven't responded. But to not not be passive aggressive. The other way is like, I really do tell them like, okay, this is the link to the class. The best way is to first go to my YouTube channel. I have a trade and travel travel YouTube channel. All that material is free. Mm -hmm. Start there. And then when you're ready, join the course. Because everything I've taught is in the course. Yeah. Like there's nothing that I can tell you in 15 minutes that is going to help your life. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> other than talk. motivation, right? Like we're here mm-hmm. on a podcast. Like I can, I can motivate you. I can tell you like how to, to get your mindset right. But when you're really ready to like do this for real, yeah. when you're really ready to trade for income, I need you to take the course, like invest in yourself, the hours to learn how to do it right. Like you'd be doing yourself a a disservice if you thought in 15 minutes I was going to help you enough. Like you you need to even for yourself say, I need the hour long. I need the two month program. I need the deeper knowledge so I can be good at this by myself without having to ask Terry. Mm, 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 mm. I love this so much. That's my thought on it. No, I'm a thousand thousand percent with that two cents which is more than times 15 minutes, right? Because we're talking 11 years of actual earned reputation and earned income, even though you're teaching people how to create 
you know, income faster once they learn it and they, they apply all the rules. And I know it can get really layered and complicated um, on some levels when you get super, super deep into it and you're trying to do $200,000 days versus, right, the $1,000 days. But for my conversations with you previously, yeah. I feel like what you're teaching is more than the mechanics. I feel like you are teaching mindset and helping people really understand, you know, both from a faith-based perspective, as well as a kind of spiritual mechanics of how to, there's no quite shortcuts to accessing faith, but really stepping fully into the action to let God work. Like you, you got to work to increase your faith. You can't just sit on it and say, well, $200,000 should fall in my lap today because I met Terry and I heard her on a very dope, awesome podcast called Balance Bully. And I heard her, but now that should just happen. Versus yes. Doing the work. <laughs> it's true. And you know, like I've been reading lately the um, story of Moses when he had gotten the Israelites and, and y'all, I use Bible stories for everything. Amen. So religion, no religion. I just think the stories are important. So uh, Moses, he gets the Israelites out and then they are going to the promised land. And it, the Bible says that like they're getting fed manna from God every single day, but they get impatient and they start building their own God. Do you remember this story? Like they start building yep. their own idols. Mm -hmm. And I think that's happening a lot in trading too. And I told my students about this. I said, you know, I think that you guys are getting impatient with learning the basics of our IWT. And it's not everybody, but I just wanted to, to remind them. Yeah, like, yes, like it's going to take time to get good at this. And like, you might be like stumbling and it might be coming a little slower than you thought it was. But the moment you start getting impatient and just chasing after the shiny things. And for me, the shiny things is, oh, somebody said crypto and Dogecoin. Somebody said <laughs> like they're like people are just chasing. Oh, I heard somebody on YouTube say I should invest in this. And it's like you leave the thing that got you here and you just start chasing after all the shiny stuff. That's yeah. where you're going to fall. And, um, and I want people to know that like, you've got to stay focused, like one, be patient, be patient to learn all the things that, that are, that are, of course, this, I was telling my students, so it's like all the things that are in the course, but even just the basics of, of investing and trading. And then make sure you're focused on the right thing. Cause I also realized in that scripture, the reason why they um, started building their own uh, on idols is because they were so focused on not being where they wanted to be that they forgot about all the things that God was doing in that moment. He was providing man. Like he was providing their daily bread. He had yeah. gotten them out of slavery. Like if he, if they had really focused on all the things that God was doing, they wouldn't have been building new gods. Right. And for, for me, I think we do that in our life too. We get so focused on not being where we want to be that we get into this area of depression and lacking and comparison because we're not there yet. But instead, mm -hmm. we should be focusing on all the things that we do have and that, that God is providing in that moment. So I don't even know how I got on that story, but I think it's important that people like mm -hmm. really, really have patience Stick with the plan, have patience, yeah. and don't chase after the shiny things. No, I, you probably don't realize how succinct you were because sometimes we just hear ourselves, but we can't, we're not on the other side of receiving the information because you already know and you've been through it. It all made sense. There was no gap <laughs> in, in how you arrived there. Just to be clear, there was no gap. It totally Good. makes sense, especially <laughs> when we're talking about people who are reaching out for uh, what feels like a quick fix, you know, can I get 15 minutes? Can I get 20 minutes? Can I take you to lunch? Can I buy you a yes. drink? You know, just, and although all of those things are ab absolutely something to reward with kindness of a thank you for, you know, wanting to have, you know, 15 minutes with me, I appreciate that. But it doesn't mean that I have to now clear my schedule, disrupt all the communicated boundaries that I've created so that I can live the life that I am choosing to, to live and show up fully to make room for 15 minutes where there's no reciprocity in it, which is something I'm also talking about all the time. And there's so many ways that that comes up in scripture when there's less, you know, lack of reciprocity, always constantly asking, wanting, you know, mm -hmm. feeling entitled to, but where have you shown up? Like where, to your point about patience and the work and the study of it and the learning of it, are you putting in as much as you expect to get out? Because if yeah. you're not, you have to really look at 
how that's disproportionate in so many ways and what you can do about it, including investing. There's no pun here, even though I know it's, you know, Terry Joma and she's an investor, but you do have to invest in your future self and where you want to go. You know, on your thought of reciprocity, there's this other scripture that says, and my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in heaven. Mm -hmm. And people don't realize that right before that, the the writer is saying that that's going to happen because of how much they've given. Mm -hmm. They had given to him. And then he says, because of what you gave to me, because of how, you know, fulfilled and, and taken care of, I am, I know that God will provide to, you know, all these things to you. And I think sometimes we just take the latter part and we're like, well, God said he going to provide, but we haven't given, we haven't supported the people it's who so are true. pouring into us. And that's the part that God wants to see that first. Like, it's not going to be the, let me get a free 15 minutes. It's going to be, let me pay you for your service. And then God will supply to me all the things according to his riches and glory. You know, like it's absolutely, it's amazing. Absolutely. It's the same as when we think about, you know, seeding and harvesting. The farmer has to plant the seeds in order to and do the cultivation and all the different things that go into that in order to produce not only a harvest big enough to feed his family or her family, but to really be able to monetize and now create farmers markets and, and you know, supply food chains and do all the things. But it does start with you getting your hands dirty for lack yes. of another term, right? And doing the the deeper work, which I love because you are, you're not just talking about it and, and helping other people, but you're showing it. For those of you who are listening to this, and I know you guys can't see us, but I had the privilege of looking at the beautiful view that she is looking at where all I see is flow and energy and healing and the, mm. and the waves of water and her view of all the water that looks like it's probably less than 200 feet in front of your door. Uh, it's like right yeah. there. <laughs> it's gorgeous. So what has life looked like for you now that you've, you know, put in your hard 11 years and you've made so many of the mistakes so you could save your students from making those mistakes and you've done so much of the heavy lifting? What does that look like for you in your day to day these days? Yes. Um, well, Black Enterprise put out to the world. Um, so I'm, I'm a multi, multi millionaire. So that's yes, awesome. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so that's been really cool. And you know what? It's crazy. Like I work as if I still don't have anything. And so lately I've been trying to shift into owning my wealth and owning my my current state. Because you don't have to always be on the hamster wheel. You don't always have to go, go, go. And and in this season, I feel like God's given me permission to rest and breathe. And like his his kind of word to me right now is, Terry, it's okay for you to take a break. Let me handle it. Because if I keep working the way that I was working, then I would start to feel like, well, if I'm not doing it, it won't get done. And God is like, no, no, no. I put this on your life. I will handle everything. So you you stop for a second, get your mind right, get your health right, get your body in order so yes. that you're able to do the next leg of what I have for you. So so that's where I'm at right now. I'm learning how to, to relax. Like I've actually been waking up without an alarm clock. Praise God. I put all of my meetings into one day. So I asked my team like, hey, please put everything on Wednesdays so that I can mm -hmm. have some days where I'm not, you know, trying to think about what's coming next. Mm -hmm. I can actually. And, and the thing is, I still work because I like it, yeah. but at least it's on my own time. I don't have to like worry or try to fit it in somewhere. I, I can do it with more creativity. So like yeah. now I'm like working on a couple TV shows for my YouTube channel and just I get to be creative again. Yeah. So it's it's been a lot of fun. A whole no. lot of fun. I love that. You get more freedom and control over the how than you had before when you were just focused on the what has to get done. Now you yes. get to really focus on the how. And that, you know, another person I was talking to earlier today, we were talking about how entrepreneurs, although money matters and impact is absolutely our focus, we're driven by freedom and flexibility. And you yeah. opened yourself into that space. And then sometimes we're so used to working so hard that we don't know how to 
no pun intended here for everyone who's watching this show and or listening to the show to give yourselves permission to pause, which is a huge part of my focus and making sure like our clients are multi seven, eight plus figure power couples. And often there's, they are used to like being in the grind and going and doing, and it's like, Oh, you want me to actually sit next to my wife and enjoy this vacation <laughs> because we're used to both having laptops and phones and, and doing all the things. Right. And now we have to prioritize the very thing we've been working so hard for, which is our relationship our marriage, our foundation. As entrepreneurs, we forget so easily that like our goal was to be free. And then we realize that now I've made all this money, but I'm not free. My yeah. business is now my boss. And as hard as we work to not have a boss, like our business is dictating our time and our every action and move. And, and like, that's not what we did this for. And oftentimes yeah. that's not what we're preaching. We're preaching that you're going to have freedom, but we right. don't feel free. Yes. And so I think it's so important for us to live out, like you said, to pause and to live out the life that we actually did this for so we don't burn out. A thousand percent. I can't agree with you more. I'm like so enthralled with the work that you're doing and how fully you've been showing up, not just for the world, but now choosing to show up more fully for you and the Terry that is to come, right? You've done a lot of great things. You're going to continue that willing to have breath in your body and do a lot of great things, but you also get the rite of passage right now in this moment to shape where you want to go and create your own traje trajectory, which I think is beautiful and brilliant. So I have to ask you, how are you giving yourself permission to pause now that God has given you permission? How are you taking them up on that <laughs> offer? <laughs> you know, I'm actually doing walks on the beach, which mm -hmm. I love. And then like I got into the pool, like I have a pool now and just like being able to get in the pool often. And I even like, like one thing for me is I got a chef. And he cooks and it's so nice. I just get to come downstairs. He 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 made a little mistake this morning though. I asked him for <laughs> breakfast tacos. Girl, he gave me crunchy tacos at breakfast time. I said, um, <laughs> that's not actually what I meant. I was thinking, you know, eggs and, and sausage, but you know what? He tried. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is hashtag good problems. Great right, problems. Right. <laughs> They were good though. You know, I still ate them crunch tacos at 8 a.m. I sure did. <laughs> like, but, we're not wasting no food. That's not how we're Not wasting. at all. Not at all. <laughs> I love that you're doing that. It's a little bit of a cheat because you don't have to walk far to get to the beach right outside. Not door. at all. <laughs> go outside. This is what I'm saying. I just go outside every day. No, just play. <laughs> I'm not mad at that because you're connecting to nature, to God, to yourself and being able to open yourself up to receive the downloads that actually are the best CEO you could ever have in your life, in your love, and in your business. So I think that that's amazing. How can people connect with you to get more of Terry? If they want to check out those, the new um, reality TV show I was telling you guys about, like go to my YouTube channel, Trade and Travel. You can find me on most everything at Trade and Travel. Um, but there's also a free webinar at itradeandtravel.com if you want to learn how I'm teaching students to make $1,000 in a day. And they are killing it, like just killing it. So <laughs> yeah, check out the itradeandtravel.com webinar and it's free, but great, great material there. No, absolutely. I've checked that out because, you know, I'm a professional digital stalker. So I've made sure to do my due diligence. But I'm like, it's been a little over a year since I talked to my girl. Let me catch up and make sure that everything is everything. And she's been doing all the fly stuff that she said she was going to do in 2019. And you have trumped that. No pun intended there for sure. Time yeah. <laughs> at least 100. <laughs> Unless we're trying to talk about his tax bill, because I'm really working towards that. Like, that's, that's goals right there. $70. That's goals. Listen, <laughs> I'm working towards that, too. We're working backwards towards it, I guess I would say. You are amazing, Terry. I thank you so much for carving out this time. I really do commend you for having your team be so supportive. I have to say, I've been connecting with a couple of them, and they are phenomenal. They are very thank serious you. about Wednesday being interview day. <laughs> which I love to like so much. They were like, yep, we can do any Wednesday you want. It just got to be a Wednesday. Like, right. right. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's make it work. So you're, you're really walking your talk and truly living fully. And I thank you for making this space and time for us today. 
Thank you. Thank you, Nikita. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So awesome. All right, Balance Bowley listeners, what did I tell you? We were going to bring you the best of the best and we delivered. You're welcome so much. Make sure that you subscribe, rate, and share this podcast so we can continue to be the number eight of top 35 women in businesses to follow for podcasts worldwide. Make sure you do that. Um, We especially want you to follow up with Terry. Share her website and information with anyone in your circle that you know can benefit from it. Don't make assumptions on what's in their pocket. Share the information. You never know when someone is ready for their next level. And Terry Ijoma from Trade and Travel may just be it for that next person. Thank you so much for joining us. Continue to create your balance and create your joy, but remember, do it boldly.